MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. Mustangmedic.com. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. All right, so there's the new um, bearings being placed into where the crank is going to be laying. This center one has basically, what is this called? Like a side? Flange. A flange. It's got a flange on it. And the reason that center one has the flange, there's the crank. Take up the thrust. Oh, it takes up the thrust? Is That's the very center of the cam. Crank. The crank, sorry. Thank you. That's the very center of the crank, and that's where it fits into. So can I lay it in? Yeah, but i got to get my hammer first. All right. Not a big hammer, a rubber hammer. So can I become your like protege wheels and, and just start like doing engines? I wish somebody was in here to do this shit. I'll come, I'll come out and work with you. This is a one man garage. I'll come out and work with you, man. You're like giving me gold here, man. You're dropping pearls on me here of, of, of wisdom of doing this stuff. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how excited I am about doing engine work. This is like, this is like now being... Uh, for the bearings, you need what is called extreme pressure load for the bearings. Do you have that? Only for the bearings. That's just stuff here made by Cleveland. Mm -hmm. It's pretty gooey stuff. Good shit, though. Strictly make the bearings. Man, you just need a little dab on both sides? I don't even think. Okay. I was told that to do, um, uh, like a really heavy, uh, oil for break-in. Can? For the, for the motor, the actual uh, motor oil? No? No, it doesn't circulate as well. Interesting. 1030, 1040 is good. Really? All right. I got a free oiler. I pre oiled this thing. Okay, grab the crank and wait a minute. We're going to put the rear main in. Where the hell is that? The rear main. In the kit. In the kit. Where's the kit? This one here, I've got to look at it and see if it's a bus tank or... Yeah, sure, there's a lot of gaskets. That's it, you got it. There's a hole down there. All right, so what you want to do is you want, see it says engine oil side, and it's got that little lip right there. You want, that's that goes to the outside, the out, back part of the engine, and this goes forward towards the engine to create the seal. What he's talking about is this little part here. That goes to the outside, right? Back yep. And that little lip right there. Wait a minute, before you do that, we gotta put sealer on all this shit. I don't stick them in without sealer. The put it back in the gaskets. You see that lip right there, guys? That lip is that lip. And see how the lip is actually pointing in? That's pointing in oil side. So when you do your rear main, you want it the edge to be towards the engine. And the flat part goes on the outside. And the wheels added some extra sealer just to uh, put it on underneath it. Yeah, to be and just move it, move it back and forth on your finger over here. Give me that. And that's regular motor oil, just wetting the oh, seal. Yeah, yeah. Can't work together dry. 
Got to make sure they're not dry because once that engine kicks over, it's going to burn that thing right up if you don't wet, wet that with oil. Now you can put the crank in. All right. All right, here it goes, guys. Ooh! the muscles. <laughs> How much do you think this weighs? I don't know, a bunch. <laughs> Probably 55. Clean. It's clean. Just lift it right out of the bag. Put your feet on it and pull it up. All right, so... Obviously, that's the back. Extremely careful. Yes, sir. Where do I, should I hold it from here? Any old way. Yeah. You just said be extremely careful. You said any, any old way. All I can say is yeah, got it. Is all is here it goes, guys. It's momentous. The crank is going back in. It's been polished. Everything's done. And now I'm lining her up. Ta -da! My first crank. <laughs> it's hard not to laugh, isn't it? There it is. Oh, I'm getting excited. I am getting excited. Now we do the same thing with all the bearings. Bearing caps are in that box underneath them carbs. So this is a flange, right, Wheels? Yeah, this is your thrust bearing. This is the thrust bearing number three. Yep. And it is going on right there. And the thrust bearing basically, it, what it does is it just doesn't let the crank go forward and back, right? Is that what was always called a thrust bearing? Yep. You want your hammer? Where'd it go? Good question. You hurt your hand, man. Oh, oh, yes or no? You're, you're up against the vise on the, on the end of that bearing. <clears throat> Center itself, yeah, you torque it down. Right, what are the what torque do you have to put on those bolts? 100. 100? And there's an arrow on it, pull it out direction. It's very important to be lubricated, guys, and also that has to be wiped with your fingers. See, right, and you gotta get a little bit on the sides, too. Oh, on the sides, too. Oh, right, because it rubs on now the sides, right? On, and there's an arrow, okay. Is that enough on the sides? Yeah. We didn't do it on the sides of that one. No, we don't have to because it's a thrust bearing. No. Because it's got the... It's got the okay. Oh, it'll on the sides of that one? It'll go around. Okay. okay. Should we put more? No? Good. We're good? And the arrow is right here, yeah. facing this direction, so it goes this way, right? Forward. Goes forward? <laughs> yeah. All right, there's number three. That arrow says it goes forward. We've got lubrication on both, on both sides and on there. And now we're putting in number three. So this is the last time we're going to see the inside of this bearing. On this car, I think. Like a glove. Like a glove. Number three. Check. <laughs> check. <laughs> you told me to do the check. <laughs> Want me to put two bolts in there? If I wish. <laughs> I'm already. I, I, I'm not going to mention it again until we're done this engine. I was, I was eyeballing that 351 Windsor again. I'm hoping. The number and arrow. Oh, is it lubed? Nope. Does it need to be? Oh yeah. Just shut it up to here now. Number two. Come on at once. I mean, do it. Right. Lube. And I know oh, I went a little heavy on that lube. Yeah, it's just expensive, easy. Sorry, man. Here, I can share it with the next one you're going to give me. I think I did enough for two on this one. Oh, this, that's another opportunity for you guys to take wrong what I say again. I always lube, you know. All right, so here's number two, and there's the arrow on it. So number two goes right like that. 
lubrications on it. Here is number one. So that's going to go right like that. And number one, um, uh, if you remember, Wheels was telling us about number one. Number one takes all of the of the the heavy damage on on when it, when it's wearing the bearings. Number one usually takes most of the hit, so it's uh, good to be replacing these. Although the bearings did all look good in this engine, the lower end of this engine was tight. It was basically rust. Rust was our enemy, um, and, and, it, and it bent the valve. But the good news about it is, is the fact that I put it on video, guys, and showed it to you in the cylinders. And I was like, oh, I'm committing to rebuilding it. Thank God I did. Again, another one of those things of keeping everything straightforward, which is good news, because um, Wheels gave me a call and told me about the number four cylinder, and the second ring on the piston was actually almost fused by rust onto that ring. It so it's, it was fused. Had to bust them to get them out. He had to bust them to get them out. So we basically uh, this had to be rebuilt. There was no other th other option with this 429. So the good news is we're getting it done, and we're getting it done right at Mustangmedic.com. <laughs> I get a little, I get a little, oh, you still videoing? I get a little salesy sometimes. Forgive me, guys. I just get a little excited. No. Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com.